Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Nara Chamberlain. I am the president of the Mathematical Association. And this is my next vlog, vlog number four, where I'm interviewing interesting people and asking them about the questions, what is the point of mathematics? Today, I have Carrie Lou. Carrie Lou, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, you want to know about me? Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, from a job title, Paul Noel, I'm a director of the healthcare analytics, but I have in my own kind of consultancy company that which 40% to 60% of my time working on any project that related to data, mathematics or teaching. Another 40% of my time is working more like a charity work such as pro bono data analytic work with a charity. For example, like a water harvest that are doing some data analytical work with them or another charity called Pioneer Math that we teaching um, coding for children that who is age about 15 to 17 and um, so basically it's like introduction of coding we just like four lesson in the summer and then just basic understanding of what can we do in the future and using real life example as well excellent excellent very very interesting career and what you know job what you are doing so here comes the question what is the point of mathematics I think, like you say, everyone got different idea what mathematics is, were or are, and how mathematics to you. So for me, is mathematics is not just about number, but also about logic. And for me, I I find language is very difficult. And if I prefer to choose like English or Chinese or, or mathematics, I would find it easier to understand full number and mathematics. So for me, is understand the world full pattern or relationship and how the world work around me mathematics is something that i feel more comfortable with so and some people may find it easy to understand full languages but for me mathematics is kind of one of the domain or medium that for me to understand the world so even though a lot of people will think that oh mathematics is science subject but i would say that you can think about it as a science subject because it's linked to like economics engineering and you know analysis and things like that and a lot of time is the more numerical but at the same time you can think about it as more like um, um psychology and also uh, um, um philosophy because it's about the thinking about the logic it's not just about describing it in number but at the same time you can describe philosophy in languages you can describe that in picture you can define some different things so for me is the medium that who understands the world around me, but not necessarily just about number, but at the same time, is the application of it. Okay, so so to summarize, mathematics is the medium to understand the world around you through through logic. With you know, not necessary num ne ne just necessary numbers, but through logic, it's understanding the world around you. So, you know, so how would you say, for instance? Uh, this is, uh, you know, the, the people's perception of what mathematics is in this country to, let's say, a different country of your choice. Um, so West and so I was I was done with West and and East. So I was a little bit of my background is I was born and bred in Hong Kong until 17 years old and then I come to UK to study a level and university and so far and so on in the between time I got my birth parent in Hong Kong they are Chinese traditional and when I come to UK to study I kind of got adopted by a British family so that is why I kind of got that two culture where it coming from so from an Asian culture more Chinese where they think about using math to calculate economics and money and, and, and mortgages so there's more like a life and um, how to say skill set that they need to have to in order to survive the world with more money but in UK for example I think for me is the love of math I always find it is, is because of the relationship or pattern they normally see that like a oh, different pattern, different thing, different concept is making it better. So that is why I think it's the different relationship from different culture. Chinese wise more applicational, I think, but from the Western point of view, I feel it's more like theoretical and also and, and psychology wise and also philosophy wise. So I I would separate that in this way. Okay. And final question. Should a student study mathematics up to the age of 18? Personally, not because I'm a mathematician to say that, even though if you ask me if 
if I can, I would say every single language should be studied until 18 years old. The reason for that is we have different understanding to the world. So for me to saying that, do we need to understand mathematics up to 18 years old? Yes, but the subject and how do we talk to different group of people should be different. So for example, for the traditional point of view, if you love math, you're really good at math, you destroy really strong at math, numerical, A-level math should be the way that you're doing. However, if you're not so comfortable or confident about it, you should have another pathway or, or, or way of teaching to the general topic. Because like you say, Having a mortgage, you need to understand how much money you got. You know, being shopping in the in the street, twenty percent off, ten percent off. What does that mean? You know, it sounds really basic, but some people don't understand it. So I think for that to have that kind of training or help to up to eighteen years old to make them feel more comfortable, more used to it, that will be better. Because at the moment, what I see in UK education is, is if we don't like certain thing, get rid of it, never see it again. So even me, I would say that from my personal point of view, go to A level, I study mathematics and home economic. It's the reason why I love it. Have I learned physics, biology, chemistry? No, not on, after GCSE. And I feel sometimes I feel like I'm missing something. I don't need to have a high level understand, deep understanding of it. But I think certain industrial industry understanding of different subjects will be better for life even not right now, but in the future. Excellent. Well, thank you very much indeed for your time, Carrie, and it's been very good talking to you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.